Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn everything important about relative layout and you will be one step further to creating awesome Android apps. So, relative layout is very useful when we want to position views relative to other views or to the layout itself. We can align our views to the left, right, top and bottom of the relative layout or other child views of the layout. But now, let's go straight to the XML. As you can see, we have our three trusty text views over here. They are nothing fancy, but they are perfect for demonstration purposes. Let's take a look at the designer now, when we haven't changed anything in the XML code. The text views have only width, height, background, text size and text defined, so there is nothing fancy over here yet. And yeah, views are aligned to the top left by default and they are just stacked on top of each other. That's not exciting, but you will quickly see the freedom that Relative Layout provides when we start changing the code. So, as you've already heard, we can position the child views of Relative Layout either relative to the layout itself or relative to other child views. Let's start off with the former. We want to align these text views to the top right, bottom right and bottom left of the parent relative layout. And I always like to put similar XML attributes below each other, so we are gonna write this code below the layout height. The first text view should be aligned to the top right, so we are gonna write the namespace Android, now layout, align parent top, equals true. And because this text view should be aligned to the top right, we also need to put over here layout align parent right, and that will be also equal to true. Alright, cool, now for the second text view, we want to align it to the bottom right. So Android, layout, align parent bottom, and this is gonna be equal to true as well. And Android, layout, align parent right, this is also gonna be equal to true. And now for the third text view, we want to align it to the bottom left. So we can just copy the attributes from the second text view and paste them into the third text view, correct formatting issues along the way, and we can change align parent right to align parent left. And now when we go and see the designer, we can see that this is absolutely awesome, but the power and flexibility of relative layout doesn't stop here. For example, we can also center a view vertically and horizontally. And let's do it with the second text view. So in the second text view, we want to delete the attributes that we've just added. And we want to center it vertically and horizontally. So we want to write Android layout underscore center horizontal. Now we can copy this and paste it below. And this is going to say center vertical. And we can check out how it looks in the designer. And I'm gonna show you one quick shortcut, because why would we center it horizontally and vertically when we can just center it in parent? So let's delete the center vertical, and this line is gonna say center in parent, which is obviously horizontal and vertical as well. And now when we check this out in the designer, it's gonna be just the same. And do you see that beautiful diagonal line forming? It's a pity that the views are apart and not close together. We can change this when we set the position of the first and third text view to be relative to the second text view. How do we do that? Let's find out. First up, we need to add an ID to the second text view. That's because we have to refer to it somehow if we want to position other views relative to it. So we want to write Android ID and this is gonna be equal to add plus ID second. And now the first text view should be above the second text view, so layout above, and it needs to be above at ID slash second, which IntelliSense kindly provides us with, and it should also be to write off at ID slash second. So now we have the first text view sorted out, and let's go to the third text view. This one should be below the second one, so layout below at id slash second and also this should be to left off the second text view. And when we go to check it out in the designer, it looks amazing. But over here it writes that this project contains resources that were not compiled successfully, rendering might be affected. And when we go to build, 
build solution, there are two errors. It says that no resource is found that matches the given name at layout above with value at id slash second. How can we fix this breaking error? Let's go back to the source code and I am gonna explain what's happening over here. When the project is built, it reads this AXML file from the top to bottom. And here it says that this first text view should be above the second one. But the second one is not yet loaded, so it doesn't know what this ID second means. For the first text view, the second one just doesn't exist yet. We can fix this by just copying the second text view, and then we wanna paste it above the first text view. Now when we go check out the designer, there is no message written over here and when we go to build, build solution, it writes that build succeeded and we have no errors. Alright, now you know everything important about relative layout. To get the code written in this tutorial, click on the link in the video description which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. There are certainly more awesome Xamarin Android tutorials to come, so if you don't want to miss out, subscribe and also hit the bell button to get all of those sweet notifications. Also, if this tutorial helped you, give it a like and also share it, leave a comment, follow me on social media, and see you in the next video.